they're gone. Welcome to the f***ing vlog. Yo, can you bring it down a little so I look bigger? <laughs> get up here, dude. I look like a short guy. You got, you got insoles in or something? I'm got a shirt over I'm here, got bro. A, I'm, <laughs> I'm just a big guy, dude. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to shoulder day. We're going to go hit the shoulders, get the metabolic. How are they looking? They're looking big. Looking all right. Yeah, they're looking pretty round. Okay, guys, a little update. We're 13 weeks out from show. 13, four days or something like that. Still floating around 200 pounds, but getting leaner, looking better every single day. Um, but it's pretty good so far. If you're wondering, we got powder in before the game. If you're wondering what trends like, it's 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 a different story every single day. Like for me, I do pretty well with it. Some people go nuts on it, but it's a different story every single day. Like the past two days, I've just been constantly so horny. But some days I'm just so fucking angry and so tired. And then some days I just feel amazing. So it's kind of a roller coaster up and down, but it's pretty cool stuff. Um, I don't get really a lot of negative sides of it. I got a little acne going on, but. That's really about it. So far feeling really good. Blood pressure's fine, feeling amazing, feeling healthy, so on and so on. If you guys are watching this video right now too, uh, Research M has a sale going on for all their good stuff, 20% off, code RLJ, you can get whatever you like. Um, the Pox team makes you, makes you last longer, okay, <laughs> to Dalafil. Uh, uh, Great pumps in the gym. Also makes you last longer, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's some good muscle juice. <laughs> Uh, there's some other cool stuff around here. Just, you know, guys, hit my Instagram DMs or just use fucking Google search is the best way to do it to figure <laughs> out what does what. Okay. We gotta get dressed, though. Gotta figure out what to wear here. Because so we're gonna go hit shoulders. Definitely rocking these green pants today because I've been wearing black for way, way, way too long. He's rocking it because I'm rocking green pants. Like, fuck. Hey, we're matching, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I've been wearing green pants like two days in a row. Oh. Not these ones to be exact. But oh yeah, okay. It's are those your lucky ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can't find an XL wife beater here. Um, because the dude the the larges are still just way too small. Having a nip popping shit. You may work out your nipples are just popping. Oh yeah, pretty much, dude. <laughs> we got a fucking medium there. That's crazy. I was wearing this medium just like less than six months ago. It's crazy how much you grow when you decide to join the dark side. Is that a young law beater or just a regular? Oh yeah, they're all young law. So that, that's mine? No. Yeah, the leg beater's the only way to go though. What are you going to do with a medium young law beater? Oh, do you want it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't fit that. that. bro. You can't fit that, bud. Yeah, dude. I love giving out the charity. Hey, thanks, you know. There we go. Guys, I'm a fishy. Damn. <laughs> you know what? White or gray? What do you think? I just don't feel like the gray is gonna match these shorts. You got gray shoes? I'm wearing these as usual. That shoes. Yeah, I, I can't take these off, dude. They're just so comfy. Now nah, they're nice. Oh, dude. Ugh, fuck them up really quick there. I say. I say white. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna look like a plain Joe. We'll just keep the pump cover on the whole entire time. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, we should take some more Cialis. I feel like I'm going blind from enough. <laughs> Dude, my vision's getting worse every day. Like, it actually is. It's like the COD thing where you get shot and your screen goes blurry. It's like, fuck. Yeah, dude. I, ever since I took Accutane in Thailand, bro, my vision's just progressively getting worse every day. It's bad. <laughs> Like, if you guys know what prescriptions are, my prescription is like a negative 0.75. Once I got back home from Thailand, it was like a negative 1.75. So it literally like tripled in fucking how bad it is, dude. And it's kind of a never shit sense, but my mom has like a negative six, so I might be fucked <laughs> in terms of vision, dude. <laughs> I mean, that would be good forever I decide to fucking marry, you know, because we're all going to get old and ugly, you know? Yeah. I'll probably just get LASIK, though. <laughs> but here's outfit walk up into that gym like an absolute stud with a cameraman while the little guys are just sitting around there jerking off with crazy and shit make sure we get the cologne on this shit right here guys i'm telling you um i personally love it it like oh has such a good smell it's just why i sell this black one right here um i had this valentino in the past which is pretty good it was like the black bottle with the pink a lot of guys just do like Dior Savage. Don't go with the plain shits. You gotta go with something you've never heard of. I'm gonna tell him That's this. Guy. It's gonna become popular eventually. But there's probably only gonna be like 500 views on this video at the moment. So, you know, you're gonna be five out of the millions of people, right? Um, that stuff's amazing though. I love that. Try it out. 
Okay. Well, let's get fucking going to the gym or something here. What do you guys say? Wait, I gotta show them the stack. First off, we're gonna take some Cialis. That's the first thing. We're gonna do Cialis. I'm gonna take a thousand milligrams of injectable carnitine. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I was like, whoa. I've been taking a Cialis every day pre-workout. It's pretty good. I find if I take it every day, I tend to get better pumps than if I take it like once a week or twice a week or three times a week because it's in your system for like 24 to 36 hours. But for me, I feel like it passes through me a lot quicker because I've tried taking it in the morning because some people say take it in the morning um, and then it will be effective later so you have it all throughout the day. I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. It only works for like 12 hours. Maybe I've just taken way too much Cialis in my life, possibly. That would be kind of bad. I'll have to switch over to Viagra eventually. <laughs> I'm here, dude. <laughs> so pop that. We're going to do some injectable carnitine, make the pre-workout, and get going on here, dude. So far, prep is flying right along. It's fucking amazing. I'm looking fucking sick. And we're about to hit a sick shoulder workout. So, cut the fucking tape. All right, so we're going to be doing some... Um, L-carnitine right here. Reason why I do injectable L-carnitine versus liquid L-carnitine is because liquid L-carnitine is to be broken down by your stomach acids. Your stomach acids are just gonna break that shit down. Okay, so an efficacious dose of L-carnitine is 500 milligrams, right? And when you take L-carnitine, like liquid, liquid wise or even pill wise or whatever, if it just goes through your stomach, it's gonna be, you're only gonna get, I think it's like, eight to 20% of however much you took. So if you take a thousand milligrams, you're only gonna get to eight to 20 milligrams or eight, 80 to 200 milligrams, right? Yeah, that, that's the math. Um, so you gotta take a lot of it in order to get an cases dose. And so I just still go the injectable route because it's a lot cheaper. You can get a bottle of a 20 mil, uh, each mil is 500 milligrams for like 30 bucks. It just works a whole bunch better in my opinion. I've tried both and yeah. And then you just get these needles from Amazon right here. This is for educational purposes. Um, this is a five, here we'll go over it. Um, it's a 5 16th of an inch. It's a 30 gauge. So this thing is like getting stung by a bee. We'll pull up the sights. I like to go rear delt. So we're gonna have to definitely blur this out, but <laughs> all you gotta do, find a spot back here. Or you can go side, you can go really wherever. Wherever there's muscle, you can stick it. Um, but normally stick to delts, quads, and glutes. It's kind of hard to do glutes with something like this because there's a lot of fat there. And you can definitely put it into your fat, but it's just going to kind of pull up and not really look good. All right, that's where we can con we're going to conclude um, the injectable L-carnitine with light viral J. About to get some pre-work out of me and head to the gym. Um, again, L-carnitine, it's completely natural. I know putting it in you in an injectable way seems a little sus. But they do this actually at like a lot of clinics. You can get like L-glutathione injections, um, which is something else I do take. I try to take like 400 milligrams of L-glutathione a night. It's really good for helping you recover. It's the body's strong, strongest antioxidant. Helps out with my acne and stuff. And same with L-carnitine. Um, yeah, they do injectable as well. It's not nothing crazy. There's no really negative health side effects from my understanding. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend checking out, especially if you want to burn a lot of fat, increase athletic performance, and so on, dude. So, quit fucking yapping. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, we're going. Mm. Just pull up to the gym. You know, had a good car ride here, except for the fact this dude kept yapping to me about some dumb shit. I'm just trying to listen to some fucking pop smoke. Yo, dude. <laughs> That's my okay, stop right the here. cat, pal. <laughs> All right, skinny bitches. We're here at the gym. Quick to the factory. About to start with some calves in this bad boy. Because if you don't start your workouts with abs or calves, you always end up skipping them. So, always start with, with abs or calves, bro. Every other day, I like to do abs or calves. Um, and small calves are just the ugliest thing fucking ever. So. <laughs> I, I asked more calves for this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> calves grow best with time under tension. Same with a lot of other smaller muscle groups, but especially calves, time under tension.
This always gets me going, dude. It's like a sweet treat, and I love it. Forty grams, dextrose. Twenty-five grams of whey protein. So good, dude. Oh, it's like sex in the morning. squaring out the juice. Yeah, that's the part where we start getting injured and shit. Does that ever happen to you before you just start squaring out juice? I can't hear you, bro. Have you ever, like, squared juice from your shoulder? What are you talking about, dude? This could be awful. Have I ever squared a juice from my fucking shoulder? God, dude. <laughs> just, <laughs> just live. <laughs> Shut up, just record then. Fuck. <laughs> ah, bro. I feel like this hat makes me look like a fucking egg. You look like a fucking... Hey, man, what did I say? Record. It's <laughs> <laughs> my pick. Yeah, dude. Bloody shirt. Shut up, bro. Three to four sets here. Eight to twelve inch reps. Two little warm up sets here. Do a plate. Maybe plate and a half. I usually do about two plates for my overhead press. But that's a different gym. So we gotta see here. I haven't done shoulders here yet. Should be fun. They got a really cool uh, lateral raise here, which I'm definitely gonna be going fucking ham on. I was hitting that shit last night. Woo. Felt good, dude. Felt really good. Feels good, bro. Dynamics of the hat front. You know what I'm saying? You get the aerodynamics of the, the lettuce in the back, bro. The flow? That shit gets you, gets you going, right? I don't like cold gyms, though. The gym's just a little bit cold, and it just fucks up my vascularity so much. I really should be fucking busting the veins at the moment.
That was perfect, dude. That was really good. I'd say you got a warm-up set. Then I said there was another warm-up set. Just a little play, a little warm-up. Then that third set for me was just kind of like getting pretty close to that failure but not fully doing it. The next one's going to be that failure, extreme failure. The set after that is going to be kind of similar to the one I just did. Pretty much. That's the way I like to go about it. I like to reach extreme failure about one set and get pretty close to it for about two. Um, I find if I just go to failure every set, I'm actually not really going to failure. I think you can only go to actual failure once. If you can replicate another failure set just like that, you're not going hard enough. Um, and dude, failure just, it causes so much fatigue. So, one failure per set, one or two close to failures per exercise. So, that's the way I like it. I'm gonna try to get a good, possibly eight here. Might be six, we'll see. <laughs> Not really feeling it today. Just gotta get it done. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Reach fell a little early there than I wanted to. Dropped the weight. Took off the 45, put a 25 on. I'm gonna take a couple big breaths here and then go right back in. And try to finish out with like 12 reps in total. I think I got seven there, so maybe five more here at least. So. <clears throat> <laughs> I get a front belt pump. That was a good warm up, dude. They're feeling fucking pumped. I think it's time to go do something a little different now, though. That was a good uh, four sets in total. One really good set. That set right there was a good finisher as well. Um, so, yeah, let's switch it up. When I'm in some like shoulders, I kind of go all around it. So, I just did front. I'll probably go do some rear down now. Uh, maybe some mid. Usually I save the, the mid up till later because then you get done and the pump just looks the best. We got front, rear, front, rear, front, rear, side, side, done. Boom, that was a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's get this done. 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 Let's get I think I'm gonna try the single rear delts here. I've been seeing that little guy Jeff Nipper talk about like it's optimal or some shit, but I don't know. Looks a little small to me. Things are heating up, bro. I'm feeling it now. There, here's where we get started. 
where the thoughts of all the bullshit leave my mind. You know, just thinking about the pump now. No longer about the woman. No longer about food. No longer about pickles. <laughs> what, dude? They're good, bro. Pickles and salmon. I've been going through like a big jar of pickles every single week, bro. I need to pick up some ketchup and mustard on the way home. Yeah. 
<laughs> I feel like I need that shit. <laughs> finish these fucking front delts off real well with some fucking machine press. I might do some raids later on, but after this, dude, my front delts will be fried. Hope you guys like this new camera setup. If you do, comment down below and say, W setup, <laughs> five grand, so I'm trying to make it back. So make sure you comment and hire me as your coach, you skinny fuck. Too much fat fuck. Yeah, let me help you get in shape. Handsome PR way. Let's do a little bit of weight. Try to do some higher repetition. 
Shit. <laughs> I just wanted Netflix and chill so bad if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Here at all my young gentlemen out here. Number one thing, 
You gotta learn. I'm playing ladies. We're just fucking around with them. Because you cannot analyze them. Never try to analyze your woman. And what that means is, if she ain't texting you, don't ask why. If her snap score's going up, she's not texting you, don't ask why. If she's acting a certain way, don't think about why. Don't analyze her. Why? Women don't even know what the fuck is going on with them. <laughs> so if you try to figure out what's going on with them, you're gonna get lost. And when you get lost, you lose your masculine energy, and she feels that. So, in a way, don't give a fuck. But also give a big fuck. You know what I'm saying, you know? Love her, but don't have her. Sure. Um, patience is another thing, too. Be very patient. Okay? Just focus on you. And that's really all you can do at the end of the day, dude. Don't trip. Steps every day, baby. These bitches will never fucking grow. Insertions are right, they just, they don't want to ever fucking grow. So I've literally been hitting every day. Some dude in my comments the other day was like, bro, 70% bicep. And I almost <laughs> fucking lost my fucking marbles on that one, bro. Just have a comment I fucking screenshot and look at every morning. You think that's funny, huh, buddy? Come on, buddy. You're 70% bones, pal. <laughs>
Honestly, bro, they got fucking killed sufficiently, I gotta say that. Um, now we're gonna run through some, some posts, some casuals, if you know what I'm saying, show off the physique. We are improving very fucking quick, let me tell you that. Very fucking quick, we are making gains, progress. Um, and weight's actually kind of coming up. So, it's looking fucking promising, it's looking good, dude. Alright, let's go through some mandatories here. How's that look? Remember, you can zoom in with the little thing if you need to. Gotcha. Try to turn that exposure down so it's not shiny. Okay. Ready? Yep. Those are fucking hard. Oh, that vacuum down. Oh.
Dude, flex is the fucking hardest part of all this shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. But coming along, looking good. Uh, that's the end of the workout, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, that was a quick shoulder day, pretty much about it. We're gonna end the fucking vlog here because I got nothing else to talk about. Woo! Hope you guys are enjoying the journey and learning stuff as we go along here. Um, today was more just of a workout. I don't know when I'm uploading this video. I have another one I'm editing right now that was more explaining on my food, but week to week we'll be changing up, doing certain cool, interesting things. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop a like in the video, only if you like it. If you don't like it, comment down below why you don't like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, if you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one towards your fitness goals, you help with bulking, cutting, really whatever, um, there should be an application down in the description. You can also just DM me on Instagram. It's the easiest way to get to me. It might take me a week to get back to applications. It takes me an hour to get back to fucking Instagram DMs. And we'll get you set up in a call, see what your goals are, and help you out there. So, peace out, guys. Go fucking chase your goals, because you can accomplish that shit. And don't let nobody ever fucking tell you different, baby. All right.